I was doing Carousel, which is one of my favorite roles I ever did. At New York City Center, I was doing Louise, the, the ballet. Mm -hmm. And I had to audition for days t to get it because Agnes DeMille was setting the ballet. Legendary choreographer. Yeah. And uh, we'd have to come in and do the opening, the whole opening of the ballet on the beach and running. and uh, So it kept being eliminated down. So finally, it got down to, it was three bunheads and me at the, at the finals. And I'm standing on the stage and I'm going, I'm not going to get this. You know, it, uh. So the, the uh, stage manager comes over and he says, thank you so much for a wonderful week and a wonderful audition. But we're good. I, 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 I know, I know. So I went back to the rehearsal club. I took off my fall, you know, so I have long hair like Louise. And I had the flu anyway, and I got in bed, and I got a call. Get back over here. It's a friend of mine that was working on the show. And I said, I was, I was eliminated, Betty. I don't want to get back over here. I said, I don't feel good. Get back over here. So I went back, and I read, and the bunheads couldn't read the script. So I hear this voice from the back of the auditorium. It says, um, all right. I'm going to give you the part. And this stomping does She says, but you've got to take off 10 pounds of that lard. Okay. So I did, just in rehearsals alone. And she came opening night. She came backstage and she said, well, you were lovely in the part. Of course, you can't jump as high as, and then she named the original, original girl. And she was with this very elegant man. He said, yes, Agnes, but you're forgetting one thing. Sandy knows why she's jumping. And I was like, yes! 